We thank you that we are part of something bigger than ourselves. Help us not to be stuck in or on ourselves, but to open our hearts, to open our lives, to do what you want us to do, to be who you want us to be, and to go where you want us to go. In the name of Jesus Christ, whose name is indeed above every other name, we pray. Amen. Christ our Lord invites to his table all who love him, who earnestly repent of their sin and seek to live in peace with one another. Therefore, let us confess our sin before God and one another. Merciful God, we confess that we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have failed to be an obedient church. We have not done your will. We have broken your law. We have rebelled against your love. We have not loved our neighbors. And we have not heard the cry of the needy. Forgive us, we pray. Free us from joyful obedience. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear the good news. Christ died for us while we were yet sinners. That proves God's love toward us. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Glory to God. Amen. And now, Chair of Staff Parish Relations, Clark's Coney, will do our ministry moment. July 24th through the 28th, 6 to 8.30 p.m. At that time, she also said that this year, BBS is partnering with the National and Global Missions Ministry Team to support Operation Christmas Child. This provides shoeboxes containing items for children in need at Christmas time. Samaritan's Purse is the organization that sponsors the project. Samaritan's Purse is a non-denominational evangelical Christian organization providing spiritual and physical aid to hurting people around the world. Since 1970, Samaritan's Purse has helped meet the needs of people who are victims of war, poverty, natural disasters, disease, and famine with the purpose of sharing God's love through His Son, Jesus Christ. The organization serves the church worldwide to promote the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today, I'm representing the National and Global Missions Ministry Team. We will have a table in Friendship Center for three weeks starting next Sunday, so July 10th, 17th, and 24th, for the purpose of collecting items for the shoeboxes. And don't worry about bringing any shoeboxes we are plenty. Or, if you prefer, you may donate funds and we'll do the shopping for you. And there's also uh, a fee when we get ready to ship the boxes of $7 per box, so that would always be uh, welcome. Suggestions for items for the shoebox are toys such as toy cars, yo-yos, jump ropes, balls, small plush dolls, or school supplies, pens, pencils, sharpeners, crayons, markers, notebooks, solar calculators, coloring, and picture books. Non-liquid hygiene items like toothbrushes, bar soap, combs, washcloths, or accessories like t-shirts, socks, hats, sunglasses, hair clips, or jewelry. This is for children, boys and girls, ages 2 to 14. 
Oh, and one more thing. On July 31st, we will celebrate Christmas in July with special music uh, at both services. Um, and now this video will give you a little better overview of Operation Christmas Child Project. Remember to stop by our table starting next week. If you have any questions, we'll be glad to answer.
right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Almighty God, Creator of heaven and earth. You formed us in your image and breathed into us the breath of life. When we turned away and our love failed, your love remained steadfast. You delivered us from captivity, made the covenant to be our sovereign God, and spoke to us through your prophets, who look for that day when justice shall roll down like waters, and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. When nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall we learn war anymore. And so with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy are you, and blessed is your Son, Jesus Christ. Your Spirit anointed him to preach good news to the poor, to proclaim release to captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, and to announce that the time had come when you would save your people. He healed the sick, fed the hungry, and ate the sinners. You delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and you made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit, and at Jesus' ascension, you exalted him to sit and reign with you at your right hand. On the night in which he gave himself up for us, he took bread, gave thanks to you, broke the bread, gave it to the disciples, and said, Take and eat, this is my body, which is given, broken for you. Do this as often as you eat it in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, he took the cup, gave thanks to you, gave it to the disciples, and said, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so in remembrance of these your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us, as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. For out the Holy Spirit on us gathered here, and on these gifts of bread and wine, make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by this blood. By your Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world until Christ comes in final victory, and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty God. 